Do you want to learn how to keep low key? I'll tell you the biggest secret. Just get off Instagram. Just private your Instagram. If only it was that easy. Hello, it's Appy Edited and today I'm back with another video. I have gotten so many requests for this one specific video and honestly, I think I'm the best person to give you the advice. Before we get started, if you're wondering what this beautiful piece of an art is, let me just show you. Look how spacious, look at how vibrant and it's so shiny. If you're like me that loves to invest in accessories that spice up your outfit and you're looking for the best quality handbag at a fraction of a price, you see this? This right here, Teddy Blake. Invest in Teddy Blake right now. Invest in your looks, invest in how you dress. This is your best friend right here. Teddy Blake New York is an amazing brand that sells high quality luxury handbags with all sorts of different styles, colors, just to suit every outfit you have in your closet right now i guarantee you but guess what it's budget friendly it's inclusive to everyone you want a tote bag they have it you want a mini bag they have it you want a wallet they have it in all the colors you can ever imagine fashion at a fraction period i'll link their website down below make sure you check them out they are amazing and they have the best team and it comes with a sash as well amazing basically my social media presence is non-existent except for youtube i am so private with my life that the only people that know i have a youtube channel is you guys and my closest closest friends and i don't exactly go around saying that i have a youtube channel i don't market my youtube channel on any platforms as well the way i grew my subscribers literally was organic i did not do any marketing whatsoever I didn't shout myself out. I didn't make people shout me out. This goes with my second YouTube account, my editing account, which has over 16k subscribers. Very few people in my world know that. Now, keeping and staying mysterious, anyone can go on a detox. In my opinion, it takes a lot of inner work. There'll be days where you're going on a nice vacation or you're making beautiful memories and you feel the need to Oh, I want to post this on my story so everyone knows what I'm up to. There will be days where you post out of revenge, post out of pettiness, post for approval, post for validation, post because you are looking so beautiful that day that you just want everyone to see. And as you should, you know, it's not illegal to post, it's not harmful to post. But like I said, this topic is only for people that want to practice staying and keeping low-key. I will tell you my biggest secret, my biggest motivation to staying this mysterious. It is all to practice authenticity. My goal is to become the most authentic person that I can be. One of my most important factors of practicing authenticity is to stop seeking validation from other people. When I had social media, when I wanted to become like those baddie influencers, I put so much effort into scheduling my post, into making sure my reputation was good, my self-image was good, so that when everyone saw my social media account, wow, she's so beautiful, she looks like she has her life together, she has so much engagement, she's like the it girl. I was trying so hard to be the it girl, but it just felt like a facade for me. Yes, I wanted to show everyone that I was an it girl, but did I have it girl habits? Was I healthy behind the scene? I always knew that social media was fake. I realized it was really fake was when I tried so hard to please the audience, but I couldn't even treat my body like a temple. Then I asked myself, I want social media, but do I need it? Basically, as I grew up, my values changed on a lot of things. Little girls will look at these influences and say, I just want to be like them. But when you get to know the type of lifestyle they're in, it's completely different. And I ask myself, is that how I want people to view me? Is that how I want to be myself? Social media just felt so fake to me. And for someone that wants to practice authenticity, I had to do something about it. When I had Instagram, I was always on and off. So honestly, I've always been this type of person. One day, I was just like, you know what? I don't need it. There are other ways to communicate with my friends. And I just deleted it as a whole. And it felt so, so nice. 
I wasn't stalking people's Instagrams. I wasn't looking at everyone's story to see what they're up to. I wasn't seeing who DM'd me. I didn't have to worry about scheduling a photo shoot, scheduling the best time to post. All my worries had just like, life had just, when I stopped people pleasing, when I stopped caring so much how I presented myself online. One thing I'll share with you is, I used to read books, like a lot of books, books about self-development, self-growth, manifestation, astrology sometimes. I remember I would post either it be the page cover or a really good quote I liked. Yes, it's a good habit to read, but deep down I was like, I want everyone to know that I read and that I'm educated. So let me just post this because I'm so different. Oh my god. Basically, I was reading, but on the other hand, I was doing it for validation. And the second that I stopped, I noticed that I stopped reading less and less and less because I didn't have anything to post it on. At that point, I realized I was reading for validation. And when I didn't have that validation anymore, I stopped reading. We all have moments like that, and that is okay. That is part of our journey into becoming the highest version of ourselves. And you have to have some self-awareness. Admitting that to myself was, oh my gosh, it hurt my ego. It hurt my pride. I've learned to read purely just to stay educated and without validation. And that's how I slowly practiced authenticity. I read because I like to, because that's me. I don't read for other people's validation. Practicing authenticity, you have to cut out habits. You have to cut out things you do to feed your ego. The best way that worked for me to practice authenticity was not telling everyone what I was doing, where I was, or my status 24 seven. No one needs to know everything. Another thing was being grateful. Even for the things that drained me, I had to be grateful because one way or another, I was gaining value, which most people don't have access to, which most people wish they even had. Now staying low key, yes, delete the social media that you don't need. And now it's keeping low key. That's the hardest bit. Cause sometimes you have something that you want to share. When I went through this process, I'll take nice photos of myself and I'll think, I look amazing. I'd love if everyone saw this. But you know what helped? I would plan a specific day to post and then I wouldn't end up posting. I would delay it and delay it and delay it until that feeling of, I want everyone to see this turns into, I could just stare at myself on my own camera roll. One thing about me, the reason why I love posting on YouTube and TikTok is because my engagement is from people all over the world where I could care less about their judgment because it's just strangers that are being supportive and it just feels comfortable and safe. I live in a small city. Everyone knows each other. I feel like I want to keep low-key from them, but when it comes to globally, I want to be a good role model and that has always been my goal that's why i love posting on tiktok and youtube when i find that i'm constantly on tiktok i will delete it and then i'll download it again or when i'm going out to take nice tiktoks but i post pictures of myself there with some good music and i feel like being a youtuber i should at least have one social media platform linked but i never post about my youtube channel everything i do is very organic what people don't know people can't ruin I think it has something to do with evil eye but there is another quote that i go by which is moving in silence as corny as it sounds i love moving in silence the way i practice it is by doing tasks going to events that i don't even tell anyone it's fine to tell your friends things but then i ask myself why do i need their validation they support me no matter what just do it you don't need to tell them everything just go and do it and now i just do everything by myself and it's so peaceful not seeking for validation it's so peaceful when you stop trying to take control of things out of your control it's so peaceful being off social media it's so peaceful not being involved with drama now let's talk about your friends i'll go in depth about this in another video but please, if you are wanting to stay low-key, surround yourself with friends that share the same values. All 
my friends, including me, we're home people. We've all gotten bored of our clubbing phase. When we go out, we go to nice restaurants, jazz bars, stay at home and watch a movie. They do have Instagram, but they're pretty inactive. My friends and I, we stay out of drama. We don't try instigate things. Everything is kept between us. We all have respectful boundaries, communicate well, and enjoy each other's presence without the exchange of I do this, you do this, you have to pay me, blah blah blah, okay? Ultimately, you won't see me being close friends with someone that likes to drink every weekend, that likes to club every weekend, and each to their own. I'm not attacking anyone. Everyone has preferences. Everyone has a lifestyle that they want to achieve, and this is a lifestyle that I want to achieve. But yes, we'll talk about surrounding yourself with the right friends in another video. Now, when you practice authenticity, when you go into social media detox, when you completely change your lifestyle, your life will be boring. You will feel bored. You'll start to think, I'm so boring, I have no life. I get moments like that as well. I look at other people and I'm here like, oh my god, I just stay home and, and I play Monopoly, I learn French, I play guitar. But then I realize that's what I like. If I force myself to be like them, that's not practicing authenticity. That's forcing yourself to become someone else just to satisfy a temporary feeling. You may think it's a boring life. Yes, you can still go out. Nothing's holding you back. But if you want to stay and keep low key or practice authenticity, delve yourself into so many hobbies. And the reason why you will feel so bored is because you're so used to increasing your dopamine through social media that when it comes to gaining them naturally you may struggle a bit during this process i have found many other ways to keep myself busy productive to keep me happy and enjoy being by myself for example learning french playing guitar and singing when i have time and when i'm not feeling exhausted going to the gym or doing pilates, even some at-home workouts, taking my mom out on dates, reading. One of the biggest changes I've noticed was earlier into my self-development, I hated uni. But now that I'm getting better and better at practicing authenticity, at practicing gratitude, I kind of like the fact that even though I'm not in high school anymore, I'm still educated. And a guilty pleasure is creating shopping lists enjoy spending so much time alone that you don't allow even a single thing to disturb your peace you feel content you're grateful you feel like yourself the person that i was trying to be was never really me it was a person that liked to people please a person that cared so much about the opinion of others that cared so much about my self-image a representation of someone that i wasn't but now that I've practiced all these things, I'm happy. Now, I'm going to tell you all the practices that I've done that has helped me achieve this lifestyle. These are weird things that I implemented, but helped me to stay and keep low key. And maybe these things can help you too. When I deleted Instagram a few months after, I downloaded Snapchat and I only had people that I were close with. So you know what I did was I acted like I was posting on Instagram by making everything nice with all the captions. I did just that, but only just for my friends to see. Because in reality, I never really seeked their validation. I seeked the validation of strangers that I was trying to impress. So to practice reducing that validation, post your vacation pics, post your thirst traps just for your friends to see. Start by posting what you would normally post to Instagram just for your friends to see. Act as if you're an influencer for them. Because you'll slowly start to realize no one really cares. Everyone has their own life to attend to. All you need is just good support from your friends. One of the biggest reasons people kind of refuse to delete social media is because that's where they communicate with their friends. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. When I deleted Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok sometimes. My friends and I, we just agreed to text on iMessages and they're completely fine with that. If you really want to delete Instagram, stop using communication as an excuse. There are multiple ways to communicate 
with your friends and if your friends refuse to communicate with you on messages even though it's a default app on every phone even though it's just for one person which is you they can still communicate with your other friends on instagram then that's just a bit you know another thing that helped me was my friend's a digital camera photographer when i'd come along to his photo shoots i would also dress up nice because as very close friends he just knew to take photos of me I would get the best results my mind was filled with oh my god everyone has to see this because they just looked amazing i looked beautiful in them probably the best ways to practice is don't post it keep it for yourself post it as a private with music and just stare at yourself that's what i did to help me stop caring so much about what other people thought of me and lastly, stick to your values, stick to your boundaries. There are many reasons as to why someone wants to stay mysterious. My biggest reason was just to be an authentic person and I have kept by that boundary for a very long time now. That does not mean my life is limited. It does not mean I have no freedom. It does not mean my life is controlled by my ego or pride of staying mysterious. I still go out, I go to cafes, I go on solo dates with myself, I go to the cinemas by myself. The world is so twisted to the point where if you're not someone with any sort of social media or just less than others, you're considered boring. You're considered a nobody. Don't let that affect you. And if you have friends telling you that, maybe it's time to rethink about choosing the right friends for you. But don't be ashamed. Of following a lifestyle that you want that's best suited for you that makes you happy you don't need to fit in with everyone else my crazy girl days are over i'm bored of that life i like the life that i have now or maybe it was just my frontal lobe developing who knows but never be ashamed of who you are and who you want to be don't listen to what other people say and don't ever feel behind because i can tell you people that are older than me they can feel lost in life as well as long as you're happy as long as you're content if you're someone comfortable with where you're at in life then so be it if you're someone that strives for better then go for it stay true to yourself wow that was a pretty long video this is probably my favorite video i've made so far i've just told you all my secrets i hope you consider everything i said because trust me this little life is so peaceful it's so peaceful it makes you glow it makes you feel better and in this process your standards will raise in relationships your standards for yourself will raise your friendship and enjoying your company makes you realize and learn so much things about yourself i hope you enjoyed today's video and i can't wait to see you in my next video i love you guys okay talk to me about anything i reply to absolutely everybody we are a safe community here okay Mwah. no balls